Johnny Shreve, Greg Doucette. Interesting tale of two friends, former friends. There's a lot to dissect, but I'm going to do as fast as I can. Johnny made a video with Dr. Mike Israto. And Dr. Mike has been in the news a lot lately. You know, him and Jeff Nifford, well, on YouTube. He's been in the YouTube news, you can say, a lot lately. Him and Jeff Nifford did a video uh, about uh, weight training and the, the, the top 10 overrated things in fitness and all this good shit. But then he was on Johnny Shree's, uh channel, and they was talking about fitness industry and shit like that. Excuse me. And Greg Doucette's name came up. And of course, Greg Doucette, he, he had to rebuttal it. Now, Greg said that Johnny should have defended him. And Greg felt some type of way when Johnny put him on camera at the uh, Mr. Olympia this past December. Well, last year. Month, October, it was October, November, last month, and not this past. I mean, December, not it's Christmas, but you know what the fuck I mean. See, I'm having brain farts. November, October, when was the Olympic? Well, they want to say like, October and November. But anyway, um, he felt some type of fucking way, and he expressed that in his video, his rebuttal video. And I left a comment on Greg's channel about that. Like, why would Johnny defend you if y'all not friends? And Johnny Shreed thought they was cool. He thought him and Greg was actually cool again. Well, Greg felt like he was being disrespected. So Greg, Greg decided to wait till Johnny made another video to express that. He had enough time to express that, but he didn't say nothing until Johnny made a video. And then since Johnny didn't defend Mike Israel in the video, Greg felt disrespected. So he had to point that out in his video. Greg is also kind of pissed off that Dr. Mike Israel has him blocked and Greg thinks that Dr. Mike doesn't know what he's fucking, he's talking about having multiple time. Now that's a couple things Dr. Mike Israel has said that kind of, kind of goes over people's heads, but the one thing Dr. Mike has is actual PhD in this fucking shit, right? But Greg, you said something that I don't think you caught and that's narcissistic behavior see a narcissist is someone who always talk about themselves in third person and always praise themselves no matter what even if they did wrong they praise themselves a narcissist thinks very highly of themselves they're, they're very conceited Greg I'm not you are very conceited. You, you, every video, you talk about yourself in third person. I did this, and I did that. I didn't mean this, that. It. it could be about anybody. Anybody can. It, it can be Michael Phelps, the most famous swimmer in the world. Well, I was swimming too at the same time. You, you be trying to tell Michael Phelps, a multi gold champion in the Olympics, how to swim. That's you. Or I know Lance Armstrong got busted doing PEDs, right? Tour de France and all that shit. But that man, Lance Armstrong, you'll be trying to tell him how to ride a bike. I ride bikes. I do. It's always about you. You think because your child grew up that you should take over the fitness industry. You always make everything about you. The way Jeff Nipper trains, you try to make it about you. The way he trains. I've seen your past videos. The way he trains, you try to make it about you. He trains like a pussy. Is your direct quotes from a while back. Because you don't like Jeff. Because Jeff actually was the catalyst about your testosterone shit. Because he said it was a bunch of bullshit. And then it came out that you was actually selling a lot of bullshit. Con man. Talking about you never lied? Yeah, you lied a lot. 
a whole fucking bunch. All humans lie, asshole. You are a narcissist. I have told some white lies in my life, right? To avoid conflict, okay? Every human at some point in their lifetime done told a lie. So to say you never lied is that of a narcissist. That is narcissistic behavior. Dumbass. But back to you and Johnny. Then you sit up there and try to belittle Johnny because he didn't defend you. Now, of course, Johnny Shreve clapped back on a live stream and told you that it was purely entertaining. They didn't mean nothing by it. Clearly, they were fucking joking about it. You didn't like it. You you claimed that it was it was borderline bullying. How can a man that comes on YouTube make Natty or Nots all the damn time half ass tear down people who you think is actually doing steroids, you know, trying to get their attention, and then sit here and say that when it when when someone talks about you, you don't take it personally, but then you took this personally. But you belittle everyone. Who you claim is taking steroids that haven't came out and admitted to taking steroids. Isn't that like the, the pot calling the kettle black? A pot in the kettle is the same thing. It's just like you calling it no black. I'm trying to say it's different. How is that any different than what, what, what Johnny and Mike did? They just voiced their opinions and they were having fun. You pick people who you think is unnatural or might be natural, and then belittle them at the same time trying to push your crappy ass up and then make it about you, and then call them liars and this, that, and third, and scammers and shit, and then try to spin around with, I brought them more views, I did something good. A narcissist, that's you, motherfucker. Narcissistic behavior, that is you. You are a narcissist. That is you. That is exactly the foundation and the blueprint of a narcissist try to well i talked about sam sulik so i helped this channel grow the whole time you've been half ass hating on the guy bringing him down i never brought yeah yeah you yeah you tried to you you have you've been trying to oh i talked about alex ubank and so i i brought him more views but you was trying to bring the man down and say the man was taking steroids because of some post that he claimed that he was going to jump on a cycle and there's no evidence behind it. Or he injected himself with a peptide that bear by water makes him unnatural. Now, what makes you unnatural, asshole, is ingesting testosterone. Yeah, let's just be blunt. And other hormones. When you do HRT, hormone replacement therapy. Other hormones that you may be severely lacking that you need exogenously, you know, that makes you unnatural. Taking a peptide to heal, at least do that shit all the time to heal up quick to get back out the play. That don't make you unnatural because it ain't fucking with testosterone. Man. It's not binding to the receptors of certain shit in your blood that promotes muscle growth. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. But you try to pay it off that, oh, well, I helped Ali Ubank. Well, I talk about him, I brought views this fucking way. You be, you've been trying to bring that guy down for months. See, the problem is Jeff nipping them is too, they, they too well entrenched in the fitness industry, so you can't bring them down. And Johnny Shreve channel's been growing, and you trying to take credit for that. Well, I got time. Me and Johnny Sweet is there. I'm about to be there. He should be taking me. Narcissistic behavior. Johnny is making good content on training. So his channel been growing. He had a little spat with you, got him some, some subs. But the overall growth of his channel, he's been doing it by himself. But you want to take the credit for the little uptick in views he got. 
from the last time y'all were beefing. Narcissistic behavior. So I said all that to say this here. And I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm just waiting on it. The Jeff Nifford, Mike Irzatov video that they done about the 10, the 10 overrated or, or underrated things in, in fitness or whatever. Since they vaguely mentioned you, I'm just waiting on your rebuttal. I'm surprised you ain't done it yet. I'm just waiting on it. Because I'm pretty sure you're going to make it about yourself. Now, it is Christmas. Okay? By the time I upload this shit, it's going to be close to the new year. So, you might have already done it. So, and I can't wait to watch it if you've done it. But I bet you it's going to be you trying to spin it and talk about you in third person and try to say that Jeff should have had you over there because you going to disagree with Jeff. I can already see it. I watched enough of your rebuttal videos to know exactly what the fuck you're going to talk about. Mark my words. I bet you that's what you're going to do. Now, with all that being said, I'm going to say this about Johnny and Greg. Because Johnny then came back he lost his uncle he cried and he says time to move on and make up and then of course Greg did a fucking video right about how to properly apologize as a way of kind of telling Johnny I'm, I'm I, I have to accept your apology but we're not going to be friends anymore I think that Johnny is being a bigger man here, and I think Greg is just too much of a pansy ass to just accept it and move the fuck on. I think him admitting that he's been on his high horse as of late for too long, and for him to come down and say he's sorry, that's he's a narcissist. He's not gonna he's not gonna ever apologize. What I don't know why him and Allie broke up or whatever fuck happened, but I'm pretty sure it's because of Greg's behavior. Greg thinks very highly of himself and really not nobody else. He's an attention whore. People that want to be in the limelight and make it just about them, they always, always have an image problem. And they very rarely apologize. No matter how wrong that they might be. Narcissistic behavior. His ego's too high. He likes to stroke his own shit. I can't wait to see what you can say about the test boosters that, you know, Mike Isertal and them um, said that, you know, test boosters suck, which they do. And I remember when you couldn't get your HRT and TRT, whatever, you talking about your balls problem. But you sell G tests. You claim they rate your testosterone very high. Oh, and Dr. What's his name? Uh, Andrew Herberman, what the fuck his name is, claimed that test boosters work. Did you take your own test boosters? No, you claim it ain't the same like getting real testosterone. It ain't the same, blah, blah, blah. But if they read your testosterone, then testosterone, testosterone. I don't care if it's free available testosterone or just testosterone. It's your overall raise your testosterone, right? I can't wait. I just, I, I can't wait for your rebuttal on that shit. I'm waiting on it. I'm waiting. This time next week, Right in the new year. Cause right now, like this is This time next week, I'm pretty sure you're gonna have a rebuttal. And I'm I'm going to tear your video apart. I'm using because motherfucker, that's you. Narcissist behavior. Narcissist behavior. All day. All damn day. But I, I like I say, I bet that's one of the reasons why Ali stopped fucking with you. It was one of the reasons why Johnny stopped fucking with you. Because of your behavior, it's always about you. You are so entrenched now in drama that you don't know it, but you are nuking your channel. You are nuking your channel. I don't think you've been watching how the artists been responding to your channel, but unless it's about even Sam Sue, the beauty is starting to go down. So you're just you're nuking your channel. So I'm gonna leave you with this. Johnny, continue to work on your mental health. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry you lost your uncle. 
I'm actually dealing with a lot. The mental health, you know, you have seen some of my videos. I'm, I'm, I'm a combat vet, post mattress. I have some mental health issues on my own. Some nights I don't sleep. Some 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 days I just be out of it. Some days, you know, um, I, I, I just want to be to myself. Um, and we all tend to waver. But I would encourage you to work on your mental health and keep that strong support system and not try to be friends with someone and don't want to be friends back. Don't censor yourself. Talk about what the fuck you want to talk about. If you want to talk about Greg, talk about fucking Greg. Who gives a fuck? If, if Greg supporters, those, those nut, I'm going to call them nut huggers. If those nut huggers come to your channel mad that you're talking about Greg, guess what? It's YouTube. If Greg can't stand the heat, get the fuck out the kitchen. He put his content on this fucking platform. We should all be able to pick it apart. Guess what? It's YouTube. The internet doesn't dictate who you can and cannot talk about. You are grown. You do what you feel. But I would encourage you to stay true to your mental health. Make that the focus. Everyone needs to focus on their mental health. We all do. I do every day. is a challenge for me. Every fucking day. And I've been out the military for well over 10 years. And I still have to fight. Those demons that I have will never die. They're going to be with me until I die. You just have to know how to fight. And you can't be feeling sorry for yourself when shit get too bad. I have a lot of shit going on in my family in Texas right now that, you know, I haven't been talking about. But I am dealing with that mentally. It's been a hard year for me mentally. I lost a good uncle. I just lost a good friend last week. You know, I... It's a lot going on. It's a lot going the fuck on. So my advice to you is to keep the support system. Watch videos that's going to cater to your mental health. Continue to have hobbies. But don't apologize for making content about a person that you know very well, but that you also know is a narcissist. You shouldn't be trying to walk that back. You have already apologized to Greg. You have did it before. Even when John Bravo did it, you have all... Greg, being the way that he is, you know that's how he is. That, that Greg, you knew he's gone. Fame and shit and got to Greg's head. That Greg is gone. The only way that Greg's going to come back, I'm going to tell you how it's going to happen. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. If it ever happens. If Greg goes belly up and he realizes in life that it's not always all about him, when he actually lose everything, I hope it, I'm not advocating for that, but that's what it's going to take. When a man lose everything and he realizes it's just him and he don't have no one to talk to, to turn to, when you push all that shit away, you have an oh shit moment. You will humble yourself. It's always pride before the fall, but sometimes it's good to have some fall before the pride. Because you're never... Too rich and get knocked off your high horse. Just ask Donald Trump. Ask some of these wealthy. Ask, ask Harvey Weinstein. Ask some of these goddamn wealthy motherfuckers. You're never too wealthy to be knocked off your fucking high horse. There are a lot of wealthy folks that have ended up broke. From professional athletes to lottery winners. You're never too high to be knocked off your high horse. And you're going to realize that in life, the one thing that's very important it's family. The second thing that's very important is friends. And having both is, is good. I'm not saying all family is good. I'm not saying all friends are good. But at least have one good friend and some good family members. If you're not married with kids, that's better than having nothing, my friend. So, you know you keep kissing Greg ass. If Greg talk a goddamn video and you, you want to be talk about it, talk about it. Fuck Greg. Friends come and go. You'd be surprised how many friends I had to, have to cut the fuck off. And don't lose no sleep behind those fucks. Because they really wasn't my friends. If they couldn't take my honesty and my criticism, they wasn't my friends. I'd rather somebody be honest with me than lie to my fucking face. And that's just facts. So if Greg Nuthuggers come to your channel talking shit, making death threats, keyboard warriors, ignore them. They ain't got no life. They balls are no bigger than this. They got no life. They just mad. They won't turn their cameras on so they fucking fake. They probably been hit in the face by a two by four and got craters in their fucking face. 
Like somebody dropped a nuke on their shit. Keep working on your mental health. Be you. Be the father to your children. And if you're still married or whatever, I don't know. I know you have a child, but I don't know your, your person. Life. But if you're married, have a wife, whatever. Be the husband to your wife that you know you can be. Fuck that dumb shit. Because, see, my family is them people on the wall right behind me. Of course, those pictures are, in some cases, eight years old. In some cases, five years old. Because my daughter now is eight. My son's five. And I've been married for 17 years. So I got to put some new pictures behind me here in the upcoming months. But, but, that's all I need. That's all I care about in this world. Period. Bar none. They complete me. They complete me. That being said, hope you guys enjoyed the content. I got you ready to go enjoy my uh, Christmas entertainment. But I uh, hope you all have a happy new year. Once again, Merry motherfucking Christmas. All right. And um, I'm going to shoot for a live stream. I'm going to try to shoot one before the new year. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at maybe Saturday. Um, or maybe tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I might try to get on tomorrow. The day after Christmas. I might try to get in tomorrow. Uh, if not, I'm going I'm to shoot for one either Saturday the 30th or... I do one um, the day after New Year's because it's a holiday season, guys. And honestly, I'm too busy to send from a goddamn camera. I just had some time of day to make these videos, so I give you guys some content to look at. But I am working on other projects. I, I you know, like I said, I still got to do the fitness video for you guys. I just haven't did one more back day, and so I don't want to. I don't want to have it to where I, the exercise is now like three weeks old, four weeks old in some cases. But I haven't had a good back day to film yet. Uh, so I'm trying to get at least one back day in so I can do the whole video and explain why I'm training that way. But I might have to end up putting the whole video up and say, hey, you know, this is what I did over the last few weeks. But uh, I can say recovery is going well. Um, still got some weaknesses. Still got the little things going on, but that's going to be a while. Uh, but each day I feel stronger. I feel better. Resting is helping. But I'm still going to have weaknesses because anytime a cervical injury happens in a thoracic, these discs right here, mainly... From my C2 down to my T3. When I had that bar on the back and my neck wasn't tucked. And the way I was squatting that day, squatting rush heavy. I did a little bit of some damage back here. Not too bad. MRI came back, nothing too severe. But what's really driving a lot of my weakness that I'm getting up here, guys, is this spasm over here on this muscle. Um, on, the, uh, on the back. The uh, Terrace Mazer and uh, all those muscles. Um uh my train of thought just went but the muscles on the back right there they they have a uh, spasm so that's something that i'm have to you know deal with um the supraspinatus muscle all these muscles back here you got infraspinatus and supraspinatus and um teres minor well teres major that's back here around your run boards and those muscles especially my supraspinatus muscle right here it spasmed up so that's something that I got to deal with, but uh, it is getting better and better and better. And like I say, so this whole side, because these muscles here, that spasm, also affects the C2 and C3 nerves because they run through there. They also control some of these muscle movements back here. So that area being spasm is causing weakness to uh, uh, root up. Sometimes in my mouth, my arms, my hands. I feel that, but over time, that has slowly been going down. Same thing over here on this side. That, that muscle's got a little spasm, too. They come from having a barbell out my arms. I don't still my arms being tucked in that weight resting on my muscles back there. That's how I've done that. So your intraspinatus muscle, you don't want to fuck that up. That's the one. My intraspinatus, not my uh, supraspinatus. My intraspinatus muscle, the muscle that's, you can't really see it, but if you come, if you take your arm to the side, it's that muscle right in here. It's spasm. It's spasm up. So... Like I say, it doesn't hurt, but that's it. since it's spasm and that those muscles are compressed, they're down. So that's that's my weakness. But my overall strength and consensus has been coming back. So I just want to fill you guys in. So I'm, I'm I still got to put a fitness video together. I'm, that might be my next video I'm gonna work on because I really want to dive into how I've really been feeling, how I'm looking, how I'm eating, uh, how my cardio has been going. Have I been losing weight? And I have things of that nature. I really want to dive into that to fill you guys in. But other than that. 
hope you guys enjoyed the content for today. Let me go enjoy my family and Christmas and all this shit. And I'll see you all here in a few days. You guys take care. Once again, Merry Christmas to you guys. And happy holidays. Happy New Year to you guys. I'm out, guys. Peace.